never had that happen before. Aviation, the way it was meant to be. It's a beautiful day, it's fall, and sometimes you just need to go flying. That's what I decided to do. There's not many days in the winter where it can be nice and warm and sunny. And today just, today just happens to be one of those days and I wasn't going to let it go. So while there's no mission, there's no plan. I'm going to take blue suede shoes up here and we're going to have some fun. And of course we're going to try to land short. need to know our approach speed. As I said before, the slower we can approach, the less energy we have, the shorter we can land. So how slow can we fly for our current weight, density, altitude, center of gravity? We need to know that. So what is our stall speed? There's no real numbers in the book. So the way to do that is to uh, go out in the conditions, in the configuration you're going to be landing, and stall the airplane. This will be an approach to landing stall. Now what I don't want to do is I don't want to do your standard 500 foot per minute drop and then over rotate real high and let it stall. I want to figure out where this aircraft is going to stall in my standard approach uh, phase. So I'm going to start a descent with approach power and then uh, slowly get it slower and slower while still descending, the nose will come up but and, and then see what the stall point is. I don't want to over-rotate force a stall, I just want to see where it naturally is going to stall. 8, 46, 44, I think it's stalled there. I'm not descending much, I can tell you that much. There we go. Oh, that was a full stall. Perfect. Alright. So I know I can approach into the, uh... This one goes dead. This one was showing... Oh, uh, so... Uh, just a... Hanging right around uh, the 40-ish mark. That's not a true number. But it's a good reference. So, uh... I know a 50, let me go ahead and get this thing flying again, um, there we go, so I know that somewhere in the uh, indicated 50 range we're going to be just fine today. This first take landing is going to be my standard off-field landing. So I'm not going to do the drag it in real low along the runway, trying to get in the ground effect and get in as slow as possible. It's going to be a stable approach down to my spot. My spot, I don't want to land on the runway, but I want to land as close to that runway over there as I can. That's my landing spot. I'm going to land on the grass. So my aim spot's the end of the asphalt. If I hit the asphalt, I've made a mistake. Um, and this be a stable approach down to a nice easy brake application. And that's it. It was a little slick. There's some ice here underneath the uh, 
underneath the grass and I think I went a little longer than I wanted that time. Anyway, that's it. We'll do that a couple times. had that happen before. I've had it happen at a Piper before. If something like that were to happen at low level, you'd be in trouble. I'm going to fly my approach so that I'm in ground effect slow, early, and then drop it onto my point. I don't use this a lot. But then we're just going to see how slow we get it. Oops. Oops. So we landed early. That's why I don't use that technique in the bush. <laughs> Landing early is not okay. Not to mention, I probably just put a big flat spot in my tire. <laughs> I think the problem we're having here is that the gusty winds, I think a gust lets out. And then when the gust lets off, the aircraft drops, and you're trying to hold it up, and there's not much to hold up, because uh, you, you, lost your, you lost your airspeed, and you don't have much energy. All right, we'll make a quick stop off here at Romeo on our way home. My plan is to see how near the... Displays threshold line, I can touch the mains. Send us traffic. Nice and slow. For, uh, and see if I can stop before the top of the numbers. Just a fun day of flying today. No plans. It looks like I'm toasting some tires, though. I normally don't do this much asphalt flying. That's before the end of the number, so I was a little long. <laughs> I got to do something about that spot landing. I am out of practice. Dirty flying. 20 feet long, 30 feet long, 10 feet off. Not acceptable. Two feet. flying the way it was meant to be. Thanks for watching. Get out and fly your own airplane. Consider subscribing. Also, if you made it this long, leave a comment. Let me know you made it. Say hi. And, uh, fly safe.
can't resist it. I gotta do one more. It's a beautiful night. Aviation, the way it was meant to be. For real this time, thanks for tuning in. One four five seven. Thank you.